All right, guys, we'll rock out an update to the aggressive growth portfolio. Um, this has almost doubled uh, since I started it. I've been with M1 Finance now for about a couple years. Uh, I use it uh, with two accounts. Um, this is the one that holds the ARK ETFs, uh, the five uh, actively managed accounts. I periodically roll these out just as an update for you guys so you can understand how the portfolio is performing over time. Uh, for those investors out there that may be interested in more of an aggressive type of layer uh, to their uh, investment thesis, uh, then this can work for you. So sit back, guys. Enjoy the uh, portfolio review. So if you guys wanted to find out more information on the ARK Invest ETFs, the five that are going to be covered in this video are here on the top end. These are the actively managed uh, innovation ETFs. I know I've had some people hit me up and ask me about my interest in uh, PRNT, which is the 3D printing or the IZRL. If you want to find out more on those offerings, you certainly can. I personally thought the expense was a little bit rich uh, for an indexed ETF. Um, that's totally fine. You guys are, are free to make your own decisions. But I wanted to focus uh, the bulk of the investments on the top five end here um, to get the active management. So I kick you over to M1 Finance and uh, we'll go through how they've done. To welcome everybody into the M1 Finance account, I've chronicled this throughout the history of owning this. I started this the end of 2019. Um, this initially was built as a 12 stock portfolio with some aggressive names like Google, Amazon, Nvidia, Uber, um, all really good companies. Um, and I built that to be passive and it did very, very well for me. And I transitioned those profits that were made uh, at the end of last year into what you see here now. So the renderings off of this portfolio are a combination of two different things. I also wanted to demonstrate for a new investor how quickly it, it could take to get to $10,000, which in, in this particular uh, portfolio, I, I did it very, very quickly. And I think that's an important barrier milestone for new investors to keep in mind as to what's possible. The reason for the switch is I wanted to get some uh, exposure to aggressive growth uh, through ETFs, and I really like the professional management aspect of the ARK ETF. Um, this has grown sizably. Uh, the portfolio real dollar gains here is just about 6700 which is pretty close to a doubling uh, of the account here where you can see that the net cash flow into the account is just shy of 7500 So at 14043 we're doing quite well. Um, they've performed just fabulous. Um, it doesn't always happen like this. It doesn't mean that it's going to stay like this. I'm perfectly prepared for if the market turns south on us for these to suffer a little bit uh, and take a bit of a nosedive. And that's totally fine. For you guys that are interested in the ARK ETFs, please understand that they are for a riskier type of investor profile. So don't think that these numbers can be duplicated just because you tune into an independent investor channel video uh, and expect to, to double an account you know, w within a few months. It just doesn't happen like this. Um, I, I've uh, built this up with the initial portfolio and now just leveraged into the ARK ETFs here. And, and where we go into the future, that's anybody's guess. Um, but I do roll these out for transparency because I do feel like these are a good way to enter into a, an aggressive arm, uh, especially for those younger investors that are looking for a little bit more aggressive growth in their portfolio. Uh, and to do so without putting any effort into this, okay? Now, I use M1 Finance for that very reason. This uh, account I fund with about $50 every two weeks, and I, f I forget it. I don't monitor this. This is all passive, 100%. I don't actively manage this. But the real key here in understanding if it's something that would be of interest to you I actively share my portfolios uh, with my subscriber base uh, and anybody that comes to the message uh, in the description of all my videos, but I always earmark these in the comments section of the video. So if you don't memorize the allocations, you can at your leisure kick over uh, and check those out. Those are indeed affiliate. Uh, I'm an affiliate with M1 Finance. The channel receives a small compensation uh, for my referral. 
uh, of M1 Finance. It's obviously a product that I use uh, and I'm very, very satisfied with for this very reason. Uh, for a, for a, a smaller amount of money, I can enter into uh, assets like this and control my amount of dollars that flow into each fund with the target allocation that I set denoted here in the right column. So the way I've got these split up is very, very simple. I've got just less than half in the flagship ARK KK. This was the one that was the most appealing to me. And just to speak simple, I wanted the most amount of money in this fund here. This is kind of the flagship, the driver within this account, and it's performed quite nicely. The second one on the list, we put at a 20% clip, which is pretty nice too. Uh, ARC, that's the ge genomic re revolution. It's a good one, really good. Um, they've got some really good companies within this fund. And then down the line, I've uh, added the other three in there. Um, just because I thought these were so niche and so specific to what they're going after with their disruptive tech, I thought, what the heck, I would go ahead and throw a little dab of percentage split across those three as well at 13%, 12%, 10%. And 10%. So as new funds flow into this account, they basically just go into this. They fund the underweight holding. Um, obviously, this one's the only one that's underweight, uh, just a little bit at the flagship as well. Um, so those new fundings will go in and, and fund the uh, under uh, allocated and try to always achieve that maximum or optimal allocation here, um, which is a cool feature in M1 Finance um, where those new funds will always go to the underweighted holding. Um, so that's the update, guys. Very, very simple. This can really be a great option or layer to an, an existing portfolio um, or, or a new uh, investor looking to get some aggressive growth um, from a passive perspective. If you don't have the time uh, or the energy to enter into an active type of profile, um, this is a great option for a lot of investors out there, and that's actually why I share it. So with that, we'll kick you back to YouTube. We'll conclude the video. All right, guys, so we've come out of the M1 Finance aggressive growth portfolio. Um, these ARC ETFs have done quite well. Uh, I was able to leverage them into these uh, ETFs here just recently. Uh, it'll be fun to track their performance going forward, uh, up $6,500 uh, off of a $7,500 investment. So a lot of people are searching for that next best thing or the rocket ship to the moon. I contend that passive investing can get it done for you. And I'll continue to be a voice of reason over social media uh, showing a testimonial of real dollars earned as a passive investor. Guys, if you appreciate the message, I'm going to make sure and subscribe to the channel, share the message with anybody out there looking to get involved uh, with the stock market in the capacity that uh, can, can really relate to the masses. Uh, I think most people can win uh, with this strategy, uh, whereas contrary to always looking for that moonshot stock, very, very few people want to end up coming out of that successful you want to leave your comments at the bottom of the video, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to the message. Good luck in your investment future.